I can tell just from looking at you that you're no Peggy. If you were, we'd be having different words. Glad you joined the right side. Call me Bo. I've been living off this land for as long as I can remember. I've seen a lot over the years. Crime, corruption, madness. But nothing like Eden's Gate. It hasn't changed my ways, though. Just another thing to survive against. Ain't nothing more powerful than Mother Nature. But you don't beat her. You work with her. Now, in times like these, it ain't smart relying on man-made junk to save your ass. I can see the skepticism in your eyes. Tell you what. Get me some eagle feathers and big old leviathan bones, and I'll prove it to you.
Glad you made it back. Good work getting these. I respect folks who can handle themselves in nature. Here, this'll serve you well. Someday, man's creations will all disappear, but Mother Nature will remain. She's a great teacher. Listen to her, learn from her, and you will persevere.
you're crazy, take the front. If you're smart, head up top. going over the edge. I owe you more than you do. We lost some good people today. But you did the best you could. Helping us take care of our own is gonna have a big impact on morale. Maybe even get some more folks to join up, too. Shit. I knew Tammy was wrong about you. Congratulations. You're one of us now. If you got time, I got more work. Come see me in the wolf stand when you're ready. The one that I might not live long enough to see the Whitetail Mountains free of the cult, but we gotta keep at it. Freedom's worth fighting for.
All right, that did it. Give me a second. Okay. Third jammer's on the truck. South. It's on the road south of you. You might have time to set up an ambush if you hurry. job for you. You remember the Grandview Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain-melting nonsense he tried on you. 
All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Wheaties cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Hellfire here. Checking in. Someone close in. Book up for me. Shotgun slows. Sorry, that's not good. Wasn't sure you'd come back, but I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer here ran security up at the chalet. Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. Seems the place is being used as a training ground for the Chosen. If you've seen them in action, you know how ruthless they are. You know what Jacob taught him to use for target practice? Live bodies. Gets their first kill jitters out of the way. These motherfuckers don't value any life that ain't in their cult. And they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. You're gonna kill every chosen you see. And you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. Sound good to you?